Hi and welcome back to the More Warhammer channel. My name is Ben Mudge and in today's video we've got a very special one for you. And to be honest, me as well. It's another box to board challenge with, drum roll please, my favourite boys in red, Blood Angels. This is the brand new army set sent to me by Games Workshop. How long is it going to take me to get this from the box to the board? Let's find out, shall we? So I thought I would use this segment of the video to kind of talk a little bit about the lore and why I'm excited about painting up this box. As I've said earlier, the Blood Angels are my chosen chapter. I love their lore, I love the aesthetic of them. I also love working with red. Shout out to the people who love working with the color red. This box, you'll see a lot of motifs and the kind of theme of this is the Death Company. Now the Death Company are a smaller kind of segment within the Blood Angels. Now the Blood Angels have this thing called the Curse and it's essentially a, it's a curse that Sanguinius actually had himself and it's passed along to all of his sons, which is what Space Marines are made out of. They take a bit of the genes from Sanguinius and they make these brand new Blood Angels. Now there are two afflictions that are affecting the Blood Angels. One, the Red Thirst. Speaking of which, the Red Thirst is essentially their bloodlust coming through. Seen as kind of dishonorable for them to allow themselves to fall into this bloodlust. However, it can be stopped. You don't stay in it permanently. Then there's something called the Black Rage. Now this is where the death company come in. The Black Rage is when a blood angel loses their mind. They go into a feral, unbridled rage and they essentially see the death of their Primarch Sanguinis at the hands of his brother, Horus. So every single person, good or bad, has the face of Horus, and this Blood Angel who has fallen to the Black Rage has to destroy everything. It is something that you cannot recover from unless your name is Mephiston. There are very, very few characters within the lore that have been able to come back from the Black Rage. So the Death Company are those Marines who have fallen to the Black Rage, but want to give their lives in their last attempt. And that is what this box is all about. Now, this is where the problem is. These guys all have black armor to symbolize that they are a part of the Death Company because they've fallen to the Black Rage. So I have the challenge of having to paint up this entire army using black as the main color for the army. That's tough. It's a very difficult color to work with. So I'm gonna have to come up with a way of painting these guys quickly, but also using a color I've never really worked with. I don't have a great amount of time on my hands for this project. So I'm going to have to be efficient as I can possibly possibly be with the paint job on this army. So yeah, you know, no pressure whatsoever. You can hit that subscribe button. I massively appreciate it. If you want to share this video with someone who you think might appreciate this or is looking to get this box, please do that as well. But with that being said, I'm going to do a test model. Let's see how I get on with that. Painting a test model is something I highly, highly recommend you do if you're going to be painting something like this of a scale like this, or you are going to be painting similar looking models a lot of times. So this is something I highly recommend. It will just allow you to refine the recipe that you have and remove any unnecessary steps. So I decided whilst I was building the models that I was going to go for a Zenithal approach or a slap chop approach to this army. This is a very simple approach. I primed the models with black. Now you can use this with a rattle can. I just used my airbrush for this part. I then dry brushed the entire model with gray sear to create that volume and depth that I wanted to from the next step which was using contrast black. Now this is what I was saying earlier, whenever you're doing a test model, it allows you to refine the recipe or the approach that you take. This is one of the parts that in hindsight I would have left out and I will be leaving it out whenever I go on to paint the rest of the Marines. It honestly just didn't, it didn't do what I hoped it would do in the sense that the later steps actually just replaced it entirely. So this is one that I will definitely be dropping as I continue going forward. Next up, I used some Reichland Flesh Shade. Now this was for two parts of the model. This was one for the face. Next up, I used some Snake Bite Leather to lay down the bases of the hair color, which I was gonna then return later to. And then I started to work on the metallics and I used some Lead Belcher for this one. 
This is a lot harder than it looks, like trying to make sure the camera is constantly focusing on the model. So I do apologize for the lack of focus in some of these shots. Next up, I use some non-oil to just wash down those metals. Word Bearers Red was the step that really replaced the Blood Angel contrast free. Now, again, I do apologize that none of these shots are in focus, but you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just doing the sword. I'm covering all the red that the Blood Angels contrast had previously covered. Last up, it was to paint in the shoulder, use some fist and red, and started with some thin lines, trying to make them meet in the middle. This is still a new process for me, and honestly, I wanted to go into the Black Rage at some points just editing this, so I do apologize. Hope you enjoyed it, and yeah, let's go back to me reviewing the model, shall we? Okay, so the first test model actually went a lot better than I expected. Working with black, as I said earlier on in the video, is a little bit more challenging. I think the approach that I took, I'm gonna tweak it slightly for the next couple of models. I'm gonna to try to get all the infantry done. Then my plan is to paint up the Martes and Astaroth. Then I'm gonna finish off with the Dreadnought. That's the plan. I'm going to have to be quick with this though, because time is running out. That is now all 20 of the standard troops done. Now I did think the little extra bits that you get in this box for making them specifically Blood Angels are pretty cool. You get a couple of eviscerators, which are basically two-handed chainswords. Oh, there it is. That was a very cool detail. So we should, fingers crossed, finish up with plenty of time to edit this up and get this ready for you guys. It is Wednesday today. Last night, I just switched the camera off I didn't record any of this. When I was painting Astaroth, I just knew exactly what I wanted to do and I just got to work. Once I got into the flow, I ended up doing pretty much all of it. All I've got to do on this guy now is the, I got to touch up the white parts there on the chest and then the emblem on his belt. I've got to finish this ax. I'm happy with the wings, you know, that was just a dry brush and then a thin down coat. I mixed Lamy medium with some black legion to paint the wings and it yeah, you can see it there. It just kind of still has that remnants of the dry brushing for the texture. So yeah, get the axe done. Get his little noggin done. Where's his head? Always escapes me. Yeah, get this thing. Get this done. And that's the big charging boy over here. <laughs>
Okay, it is done. It is done. So how long did it take me to finish this entire project from box to board? Just under 18 hours. Now, I will be honest with you, there were parts that I didn't hit the record button whenever it came to the timing. So I would say it's probably around the 19 hour mark, uh, just with all the little bits included, like sticking flock down and things like that. But this project has been a lot of fun. I will say though, that the fact that you're encouraged to make this a death company box because of the heroes that are involved, Lamartes and Astaroth can only lead death company models. I think it would have been a lot nicer to include some death company shoulder pauldrons because I had to hand paint the X on everything and some of them came out better than others. So I think that would have been a nice addition to this box set. The decals, you didn't get any in there either. I double checked that. No sign of death company sigils at all, which honestly sucked a little bit. So I can't give this the highest rating possible of two chef's kisses. I can give it one though because Let's face it, I'm painting, I'm having fun, you guys are enjoying it. What's there really to complain about? I'm really happy with this company. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, please do hit that subscribe button. If we can get to 750 likes, that's a big one. That would be incredible too. And if you want to support the channel even more than you are already by subscribing, liking, and dropping a comment, please consider subscribing to the Patreon. It helps me make this something that I can do more often. This is not my main job. This is just something I do on the side. And the more support I get in that respect, the more I can make these videos. This has actually sparked up my enthusiasm to play Warhammer 40K. I have admittedly been playing a little bit more uh, Spearhead with Age of Sigmar at the moment. So this has definitely got me interested in playing 40K again with my beautiful bloody boys. Hope you have a fantastic day, you bunch of legends. And with that being said, I'm out. Uh,